Hi, this is Ryan from Platinum Loops, and today we're going to be using Ableton Live to manipulate a drum loop into something a little more interesting than it originally was. So let's go in to our loop library here, and I, this is from the Platinum Loops Ska Guitars sample pack. So let's grab 115 BPM drum beat number one. Put that right in the session and take a listen. Cool, just a nice simple little loop. Sounds good. So uh, if we right click on the clip, go down to Slice to New MIDI Track, and we're gonna get this little dialog box that'll give us a couple options of how we wanna slice up this audio and map it to MIDI regions. So uh, you've gotta choose how big or small you want the slices to be. I'm gonna choose eighth notes because since it's a two bar loop, we'll get 16 slices and that's a nice number. I'll be, if you slice it up, you get with 30 second notes, you get 64 slices or you could slice it a little bit larger and get less slices. In this case, so uh, 16 slices sounds great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the built-in slicing preset. We'll get to the other ones in a second here. But let's just see what it does like this. So notice Ableton automatically creates a brand new MIDI track with a drum rack instrument loaded up with one uh, slice to represent each slice of the original audio file. And they've even been so kind as to make us a MIDI file with MIDI information that allows us to play the drum loop just as it was before. Only now, we're dealing with actually manipulating the audio through manipulating the MIDI information. This is really cool because you can create some kind of uh, cool drum beats just by playing around with the MIDI here. Already sounding more interesting. Already sounding a lot more interesting. So now, if we go back to the original drum loop, and let's let's slice it up again and use one of those other crazy algorithms. They've got a lot of different ones that are really fun to play around with. You can get some really awesome sounds out of them. But the one I really like right now is compressed beat. So let's let's slice it up again using that. Still 16 slices. Okay, so. I'm going to pull that MIDI information I just manipulated into this drum loop, drum loop or into this track so I can hear it on this new instrument. Let's take a listen. It's sounding very cool. So on this slicing algorithm, Ableton has a preset in the drum rack with all of these macro mappings to control different parameters on the slices we've got. The, we've got a saturator for drive amount and we've got some tuning so we can we can pitch up all the samples at once which creates some really cool rhythmic alterations because the samples are of course smaller when you make them higher and they're bigger when you when you pitch them down so it creates some really cool effects just just messing with that one parameter and of course there's also a filter here low pass filter slices. Just playing with those two parameters you can create some really cool sounds just right off the bat without really having to do any work at all. I found it's, I find it's really nice to just take the tuning knob and find the sweet spot where you like the where you like the sound of it and you can just get some really nice screws just finding the pocket. I like right there. Right there sounds really good to me. Um, another really simple way to just spice up these drum loops is to take a beat repeat instrument, drag it onto the track. If you hit repeat every time you turn on the beat repeat, it'll just repeat automatically. And I like to. Um, I like to try that out. Sometimes if you use gate instead of mix, it sounds kind of more impressive.
kind of cool. So I'm going to uh, hit Apple M and go into Ableton's MIDI mapping mode and just map these parameters to some knobs on my MIDI controller. So I just click on them, move the hardware controller, and it should recognize it. Really simple. Uh, I've mapped three parameters. Let's see if we can play around with those and uh, create some interesting sounds. Cool. So hopefully that's a good example of how you can pretty simply take something that's very simple, very simple stock drum loop and turn it into something that doesn't sound like anything you've really heard before. Uh, have fun with that. Thanks for listening and take care.